Hello, everyone. I'm Josie Wolfker, and you're listening to Thundercast. Today, I am here for our student spotlight segment with Liliana Blaze, a student here at Easter who made it to cross country semi state recently. Thanks for joining me here, Liliana. How are you doing today? Good. Good. I'm glad to hear that. So I want to start from the very beginning and just ask you, what got you interested in running? Actually, my friend Kinley started running and then I wanted to do it with her. So I just tried it out and then I ended up liking it. When you attend these practices, how do you typically train for like a match? We would warm up and then we would probably go on a four to five mile run and then we would maybe do like an ab workout. Yeah, and that's quite a lot of running. So how would you say you've improved throughout the years from your first practice to your current state in cross country? It was definitely a big change from middle school because it's now 3.1 miles versus 1.8 since fifth grade. Wow, that's a long time. So since you've been running for such a long while, what has been your most influential motivation to continue running? Um, Probably the competition. One of my biggest competitors is probably Peyton Smith, and we're always on and off who's winning, Mm -hmm. and it's fun to just race and see who's going to win that race. So with competition being your leading motivator in cross country, how would you describe your attitude towards it changing over time? Well, the start of this year, it was really hard, and it was hard to keep going because of the big change of the distance, but... Once I got into the sport more and trained more, it started to get easier as it went and as I trained more. So with finding it extra hard this year to just keep going, was there any figure in your life that really motivated you to get through it? My papa Scott really loves to watch me run and tries not to miss any of my races. So tell me a little bit about your journey from your first race to finally reaching semi-state. Kind of just had to like ease into it. It was pretty hard at the start. My first race was pretty rough. Started running like at a 23, 22, and then ended up 1930s. So obviously you've improved a great deal. What's something you would say you've learned or a lesson that you've gathered from running in general? So probably never give up because there's always room to improve. Is there anybody in particular who has really helped you develop your skills as a runner? My team and my coach, Bill, motivating me and helping me train. What routine do you go through before each meet? Well, I always warm up and then I get really nervous right before the race. Wish the competitors I know good luck, go to the starting line and then race. So how do you typically overcome that nervousness? I don't. I'm always really nervous. So we've talked quite a lot about running. Are you currently active in any other sports? I do track. I like track, but I like cross country better. A lot of long distance things and track since sixth grade. So with all the success that you have within your sports, have you set any goals for yourself in the future in terms of your athletic career? I want to definitely make it to state next year and maybe get into the 18s and then maybe run in college. So, Liliana, we've talked a lot about running and your athletic career today. You're obviously a very determined individual because of all your athletic success, but um, what are you like off the track? I like to go camping and boating, and school's going pretty good. I'd like to be a veterinarian. Well, Liliana, I'd say you have a really bright future ahead of you, and thank you for joining me here today and doing this interview with me. It was really interesting to hear about it. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for joining us for this episode of Thundercast. Please tune in for our next episode very soon. If you have any suggestions or comments, please email us at thundercast at egreen.k12.in.us. Subscribe to hear every episode of Thundercast at iTunes, Spotify, and Podbean. All content in this podcast is property of Eastern Green School Corporation and may not be used without express written permission. All rights reserved. 